Today we are announcing our Road to 1,000 Subscribers giveaway. In this giveaway, we're going to give away one lucky subscriber, their choice, this figure or this. So we're looking at a Migs Mayfield, as well as Art Commander Havoc. All right, and once we have reached our goal of 1,000 subscribers, we will pick a global winner across all of our weekly podcast episodes. So make sure you're commenting down each week for multiple entries into the giveaway. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We got a lot of news to go through. First up from NECA, we are, they're giving us a Chucky from the, from the TV show. So it's just like a normal Chucky like we've seen before. Um, I'm not sure exactly what like the new things are about it, but besides it's that, from the TV show. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, the new head sculpt, right? And the articulation scheme looks different and updated from what I can tell from the original Chucky figure. But it is accurate, the hair, to the new show, but I do think it's an ugly look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too straight, but that is actually how it looks. Those look straight, really, really straight here. This is my favorite picture, though, right here. This Chucky. He's mean, dude. He's mean old Chucky. But, um, no, yeah, I, I'm not seeing too much variation. But, yeah, I mean, a single elbow, single knees. I don't know. It's just another Chucky for me. Yeah, and I don't know. I'll have to look back on the new show-wise, but the arms are kind of, like, a little lanky. I'm not sure, but that could be accurate to the new model from the Chucky in the new show. But. Yeah, it is a doll, right? It is supposed to be a doll. But this one, this is this looks cool. I do like this effect. I don't know. It's a whole nother like arm piece and head piece that you're attaching there. Um, is what it looks like. The head like plops off. Yeah, it's like an overlay. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. The grisly, gruesome stuff with Chucky. So, but yeah, there's everything you're getting with the Chucky. Yeah, it's an overlay. Look at that bloody arm with it. But yeah, man. Again, NECA always does look good, man. They always give us so much stuff. For, for the price point yeah the, the, the four heads that's a lot that's a lot complete head sculpts right it's, it's like they know he's short you know it's not like hasbro where it's like here's <laughs> howard the duck half a figure and there's no accessories except the oh, future on my head the future on my head that's it. and then reduce articulation on the actual figure <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah all right all right let's jump over to mcfarland they did this is during comic-con todd like this is actually umbra this is pretty cool they did an ultimate movie, Batman movie collection. So you get all the movies from 1989 to the, you know, uh, the Matt movie. Reeves. Yeah. So you get all those Batmans, $120. I mean, it was up for pre order everywhere and it sold out. Like Entertainment Earth sold out, Amazon sold out, McFarland Toy Store sold out. It's gone. <laughs> I was actually able to get a, I, I did pre order this. <laughs> so I'm excited about this one. And it's all the Batmans, dude. And you get like the, the bat signals too. Like there is some dial aspect to it as well. Yeah, the that that bat signal is amazing. I love that. And yeah. especially that you could have swappable screens that you can get each bat symbol. Get all um, yeah, let's go over the figures real quick. Uh, here's the 89. It's the one that we've seen before. Clock gets cape with uh, the key and face. You don't get like unmasked heads, which is, I feel like it's okay. It's Batman. It doesn't need to be unmasked, but there you go. And they also get the, uh, what is this, Clooney? Yeah, it's Clooney. Clooney, Clooney, Clooney. yep. Yeah, and then Kilmer. So then you get the Clooney, where it's like the more black, it's all black, the Schumacher stuff. And then you get the Val Kilmer. It's the Val Kilmer, yeah. Rap Batman and Robin, you know, Mr. Freeze. It's that lighter blue, right? It's that like that blue metallic. metallic -y, yeah. And so really cool that they're paying that close attention to the details. Like, yeah, it's all Batman, it's all black figures, but each movie does have their own paintwork. And so it's cool that, that they're translating that as well. Here's Christian Bale's Batman. Looks great. And then Batfleck, all armored up, ready for the Justice League. And Matt Reeves, uh, Robert Pattinson, Batman. So, yeah, this is a solid, solid lineup to get all six movie Batman's live action movies. <laughs> yeah it's really awesome it's like you know we just got the spider-man three pack now we're getting the batman six pack so like everybody's collector's dreams are coming true but one yeah. thing i will say is and i and i bet he will do this um just because like i ha i didn't get this just because i have you know the the batfleck the reeves um and the 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 clooney so i really and even the dark knight i'm they're gonna release that like, that's in the new wave right yeah so yeah. I hope, and I'm pretty sure he will, he needs to release the Clooney and Val Kilmer Batman singly. Just for people that have gotten the other four single-packed or with the Batmobile. And that way you can't, you don't have to buy this again, you know? 
Yeah, based off of what I've seen from San Diego Comic Con and their panel, that's gonna happen. Uh, okay, good. They're filling out the Batman and Robin movie. Like, there's oh, they okay. Ivy, they teased. You know, okay, okay, okay. Some of those characters. So and yeah, he can do cool. his black light. He can do his black light. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like again, that's the perfect place for it, right? It'll work, yeah. yeah. All right, but yeah, the uh, six pack Batman 120 sold out. Sorry, folks. Let's go to the next one here from McFarland. Just a quick little big, big bad toy store exclusive. We're doing Martian the Manhunter in the black and white accent edition. And like, I, 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 I'm liking it, but I don't want to like it. I don't know, like, the face <laughs> weird, but the color, the silver, you know, little cape holders, the coloring, just the, the accent work on this it does look good. You're right, it does, it does. But yeah, just a simple repaint, big bad Toy Story exclusive. Pick it up if you need it, or if you want it. <laughs> yeah, if you want it. All right, let's go over to HasLab. Big news, right? They've been teasing HasLab uh, the past four weeks, right? With little hints and clues, and people have been speculating, and it is going to be the ghost. Now, this is the ghost from Ahsoka, not Rebels or Rogue One or anywhere else that showed up in the background. And it's going to be $500 for just the ghost. And it is pretty big. Um, Adam Savage, I watched a video of him. He got, he actually got to play around with it. And it's pretty big. And like well, everything opens up on it too, right? Uh, there's a top view, side view, big old thrusters. You got to love the detailing though that they do on these things, man. I know it is like vintage collection scale, but they do such a good job on this on these vehicles yeah it is very big like i did see you know when they held it it was like pretty big it was like a huge thing <laughs> but i don't know how i feel about 500 i don't know i think it's on a little bit of the high end especially like if you think about galactus yeah um which galactus was bigger than the sentinel right and galactus was only 400 so i think for per, me personally i think this was should have been a 400 dollars has lab i think five dollars 500 is crazy but i mean what do i know the fans showed up so yeah they did <laughs> they're also getting instead of a specter one which is more of a boxy right part that comes out it's the specter two since that one got destroyed so oh is, no that's the phantom oh yeah sorry the phantom specter is what they call them their call signs <laughs> so yeah far. no yeah so yeah so technically this is ahsoka but in in all reality it's technically uh rebels season three and four right you could it, it could yeah. double as both right yeah, yeah yeah uh but along with that let's take a look inside i love that the cockpits and the seats there you know there's sabines there's as there's this game yeah I love that they did that just that attention to detail um is when of course Hera can sit in there there's the gunner seat up front down there you can see the the jarek i can't remember if I'm... yeah that? you got it you got it yep that, you got it you got word. it <laughs> no you got it hollow deck is there you got the seats i mean it's like right out of the show i think mm -hmm. they did a good job recreating all of it there's just more of the pieces that come off of it and with the figure or sorry with the i think their goal was eight thousand yep eight thousand and with that you get you know you get the ghost plus chopper i'm assuming just like the little insert of a chopper i don't know if you're gonna get a full vintage collection chopper um but also you're gonna get harrison villa so yeah, she's actually coming with, uh, you know, the peach that they, like, use in the first episode. Oh, yeah, the Calicori. The, the Calicori. We like toy, yeah. <laughs> so I think it looks great. Honestly, yeah, I'm not I'm not really worried about this because, personally, I, I wouldn't pick this up. I just don't collect the collection. So I'm not, like, thinking in the mindset of, like, $500. Is that worth it or not? I'm looking at it just purely as, a, as like, a toy. It looks cool. It definitely does look cool. Even though I don't collect vintage collections, I was definitely interested just because I'm, I'm a big Clone Wars Rebels fan. Yeah, yeah. And I think I would have been more inclined if it was 400, just because, yes, there's a lot of detail. I mean, th there is though a lot of articulation because the whole s s a Phantom comes off yeah. and then you can take off all the pieces and the deterrent moves, I guess. So yeah. it is what it is. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into the tiers. With the first tier, it's going to be 11,000. And I think last I checked, they were just, just barely above 8,000. And I don't know if you noticed this, but there's like a weird like big heavy push from everyone like the toy community like some of the bigger influencers which i, I didn't see that for previous has labs so i just find it interesting that all of a sudden everyone's coming out of the woodworks to promote get the ghost get the ghost or fund the ghost or whatever the hashtag was and, the, and they did it within a few days right what was it i think it went live in comic-con and then <laughs> it was like a 24 hours they got it yeah so it's just about eight thousand right now but first year is gonna be ezra bridger he comes with the Lothcat, he comes with his Scout Trooper helmet, 
it, you know, it is that second half of Rebels. It's not the first half. Uh, he gets a lightsaber, blaster, and of course, that cool haircut. Yeah. But yeah, and then the next year at 14,000 is going to be Kanan Jarrus, which is cool. And he gets both of the different, you know, his burned eyes, his the, the little eye mask. Yeah, he looks cool. Yeah, one thing I'm hoping, and like, you know, we always see this trend is like now, hopefully, that they kind of got the sculpting down they can just add more articulation bump that out to black series so we can yeah. get like a uh, second half we, we don't we need you know, we would only need sabine ezra and kanan because hera and zeb are the same and yeah chops are the same honestly so, that's just what i was gonna say i was like we, we need the later half of the second half. yeah and it's only three three characters so just give us those three yeah that's, updated we, we have especially this kanan like oh my goodness i need this kanan in black series that is, of course. yeah yeah all right, and then the final tier is seventeen thousand, so just uh, above doubling their their normal goal, their original goal. Sorry, um, it's going to be Zeb, and he comes with his you know his classic weapon. And I don't know. I'm assuming they've already released vintage collection Sabine, so that's why we're not getting Sabine, or or not. I don't know. Let us know down below. I don't. I don't believe so. Like like I said, like they they've never released any Star Wars, and that was like always kind of like a gaping hole. Uh, they never like usually you know it's always one one then the other one comes but like right. the black series first two seasons rebels team came and the vintage collection never came yeah that's interesting then why would they not include sabine yeah it, it is pretty odd like maybe they could do like another tier but i highly doubt they will but yeah that definitely is yeah. odd it's weird it's weird um maybe they just don't fit in yeah but like literally all of the team besides sabine yeah, and I, I don't think they have like I see a couple I see the waves and I've never seen a, a Sabine. That's interesting. I wonder why. Maybe I mean probably the next future wave look like they do with like Haslab when they release the Galactus, they release oh, the Heralds right. of Galactus. They'll probably do companion pieces that come out with this. Like they're doing okay. Thrawn in Vintage Collection. Okay. Kind of companion yeah, to they this. Can't, they can't not, right? They can't not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll get to it. All right, but there we go. There's all the tiers. Haslab, Ghost. Soka Ghost uh, for 500 bucks. So if you're into it, go fund it. Again, like we say, if you if you have any interest in it, put you know, say put you cast your vote. Don't well be like, oh, I'm gonna wait until everything funds. Just cast it. What's kind of funny about it too, though, is it, it's a Soka Ghost, but it's the 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 tears are rebels. Like <laughs> yeah. that doesn't make sense, honestly. What they're doing there, that's that's more marketing. What they're doing is they're saying, let's take take the hype of the news. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, that way. They want, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, I feel like if you market it as like just Rebels, I mean, this is for Rebels fans, not really for us, because it doesn't come out yet. I don't know, it's weird. Think of some that haven't watched Rebels, but are so excited for Ahsoka, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying the tears, like the tears. I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I bet they pitched this as a, hey, this is a Rebels has left but their marketing team and their branding team came back. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They think team. they're like, oh, it's going to sell more if we label it as Ahsoka. Yeah. yeah. So, because I'll, and then everyone's going to be excited for it, right? Yeah. So. All right. But yeah, there we go. Let's jump over to G.I. Joe. Some cool stuff here. We are getting Trip Fire. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Apsara. 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 That's the rat, the little mouse thing. <laughs> and then uh, M A C L E O D. And that's their robot. We're getting an EOD, man. This one, I'm excited. For. This is cool. And do you remember in Wanted, the rat guy? Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. That's kind of what I'm picturing here. Exactly. Especially with that little, like, harness. <laughs> Got to put, like, a little watch on there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, this is amazing. All new sculpt, freaking Hurt Locker uh, yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. The German Renner head on there. But you get the little robot, too. Yeah. We have that. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> you can literally recreate that head and look, just use a Jeremy Renner head from Hawkeye and a Falcon head from Winter Soldier and you got yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. sick yeah no the one cool thing too also about this let's get to that picture here there's just more kind of cool pictures of him all picked out is that armor is removable you can take all that EOD armor off and like just have it displayed or hung up you know I, I love the playability of of that I mean both vests, the harnesses, the helmets, the, you know, the neck piece. <laughs> so yeah, definitely worth thirty-five bucks for me. That's that's worth it. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. I think this is a, a great and man. Honestly, that rat alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that rat's cool. That rat is so cool. All right, there we go. There is Tripwire. Next up, this is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Uh, this is Cobra Hiss Fire Team Seven Eight Eight. 
And I don't know how GI Joe do it. I guess, you know, Hasbro owns the property of GI Joe, so they don't have to pay for any licensing fees. But 80 bucks gives you these three, you know, extra stuff for your Hiss tank, uh, extra troopers for the Hiss tank that you might've gotten. Or not, you just get more guns, more just ammo, more bullets, more effects. Dude. Look at all this. You get blast effects. The rocket launcher also has effects. We'll get to that. And um, look at that guy in the center. He's got the exposed brain helmet. Yeah, it's like the reskin of that Walmart exclusive. They released a blue version at Walmart. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude, these guys look sick. Look at that effect, dude. I love it. Yeah, and I definitely like the choice that it's an, it has a repulse exclusive. And, you know, they're not doing like mainline characters i think that's like what i didn't like about the chuckles where it was like oh it's an exclusive and it's like a character whereas like these ones they're just reskins and you can pass on them or get them if you want yeah you don't have to get them but if, you know if you want to army build real quick 80 bucks gets you three figures and look at everything you're getting dude the military or the let's start with the bottom left there the bazooka guy he's got his bazookas he's got a helmet he's got his two different effects pieces um, and then over here on the bottom right more of a blaster machine gun look at all those effects blue red smoke everything and then the top and that box art man i really like that box art it looks cool <laughs> um and yeah it just gets you excited for the his tank release when they come yeah yeah you have troops that you can build up you know actually have people riding it around it using it as cover yeah man this gi joe knocks it out of the park dude honestly like i'm so impressed by and what they do it's cool and it's also nice because it's not like people like superheroes were like a lot of the body molds that like, get reused because it is kind of just more simple as in spandex right where here you get more cloth you get more detail you get more realism i guess more sculpt yeah more sculpt to detail right right like the, the joints and pinless that doesn't necessarily matter as much because there's just so much detail on them yeah that you it just lose it whereas on a spandex guy it's a little more noticeable that's true but I, I, I was just kind of thinking about that all right let's keep going we're getting a Target exclusives, Flint, Tiger Force, and Vipra. They're going to be just the normal $25 for Joe's. This is Flint in the Tiger Force. I love this shot with his hat flying off. So, <laughs> But yeah, I'm not feeling this Tiger Force, this Flint re-release. -re because yeah, it's just a reskin the Tiger yeah. Force into the Target thing. But I don't know. I don't really like this one. Something about like the color, like the, the orange, that, like the orange brown that they used. I don't know, really like that previous tiger force has been a little more brighter yeah and i think that that's maybe it it's more burnt umber like a little more burnt orange yeah it's like an ochre yeah yeah <laughs> but here's everything you're getting you get like a cool wrapped gun you know like that is nice actually yeah you know, jungle, you know a long time you gotta wrap it that is nice yeah a little shoddy it looks like a shotgun a machete you know, freaking machete dude but yeah target school uh, next along with that is the 25 dollar vipra this one looks cool dude this one. this one i'm definitely interested in. even yeah. though it is just like the snake guys movie snake guys movie plus the the two, the two pack the anbu two pack yeah, it's yeah. just a repaint of that but like i the i love this figure i love that skull mask and it's completely different in like a new way and it just hides it even with like the addition of the armor so the armor red armor on each of the sides that's actually a new piece and of course the arms and the gauntlets are all new yeah, no, it looks, it looks so good, the paint job, too. And again, I love that that skull is a mask. Like you said, like, I love that you can take that on and off. But yeah, I no, yeah, it's cool. Bows and arrows, two swords, just loaded, dude. All right, next up, let's go over Transformers. We are getting a G2 Universe Grimlock. This is like the Toxitron version or the Generation 2 version. This is a Walmart. Yeah. Our boy, I don't know if you follow him, but Brixmas Prime, he, he, did a, he dropped a toy hunt video. And they were they were on shelves already. These wow! G2, these G two that's quick. These, these that's are, quick. He wasn't about them, but I'm totally about these. <laughs> Me too. Like I actually have the original Grimlock that's just released recently, and this is just a reskin of that. But even though, like, when you think of Grimlock, you think of the cult, like the silver, black, and red that is released. Yeah, I actually do like this G two color scheme. It's really nice. You know what I when I saw it, what I thought of I what thought of Digimon. Yeah, I can see that. I saw Those the, color, the, the 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 dinosaur like the strike kind of yeah yeah the dinosaur guy. But uh, fifty five bucks for this Grimlock G two. Um, I I love I just love how how well it pops and that like pink fuchsia you know pink crotch up. So. And I I love when Transformers have translucent pieces. 
I don't know why, but those translucent pieces are like sick on that. Oh yeah, okay, so his chest piece is translucent. Yeah, that's what Yeah, the two chest pieces are translucent, yeah. I love that. Cool, but yeah, there's that G2 Grim one. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It's cool that it's already on shelves too, so shout out Bricksmith for finding that. Check them out. He's more Transformers, but, but you're into it. All right, let's jump over to Power Rangers Lightning Collection. They announced the Black Ranger in their like, you know, higher price point, more accessories, re-releasing of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. 34 bucks brings Zach home. Where was this when Walter showed up? I could have had him sign it. I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> but honestly though, the, the Walter Jones head sculpt on this, oh yeah. my gosh, phenomenal. Is that close? They like? knocked it out of the park here. And like, that, that's the one thing like with these kind of updated, like I could care less about the accessories, right? And it's just, yeah. it's the same figure. But yeah. what's getting me is those head sculpts, like 10 times better than the original releases that I have. I can't justify it, but man, I love these head sculpts. Yeah, these are cool. They're doing a good job. I love the texturing on the hair too that they did. But yeah, I know that flat top. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-four bucks gets you the accessories. You know, yeah, again, it's just that re-releasing of that line and a more deluxe version. Honestly, so, but there's that. Yeah, man, it, that head still does look good. Whoa. Jump over to Marvel Legends. Lots to talk about here. First up, as it was announced at San Diego Comic Con, Marvel Knights. We're getting a whole Marvel Knights wave, which is, I think, really cool. Uh, 25 bucks each. First up is Blade. Daywalker. What do you think of this one, man? I love I love a good Blade. I definitely love this Blade, and we haven't gotten a Blade in a while, um, so I welcome this Blade. And I love those, like, um, new weapon accessories that we've never gotten. Like, we've got we've seen that sword before, but those, like, dual-sided daggers, that's a brand-new piece that I've never seen. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it does come with the sheath, it looks like, too, or the sword. So you get the Daywalker. Someone print me uh, a Wesley Slime's head. <laughs> 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 kind of uh, honestly it kind of looks like wesley snipes this one it does don't Especially, you think the flat top it's the flat top with like the receding hairline yeah it kind of looks like wesley yeah it does <laughs> all right and then next up we are getting clea uh for those mcu fans she showed up at the end of Doctor strange madness a magician lady um i i do like that we're getting just you know another female different upper um different looks and i'm fe- i'm really feeling this figure i think just because for the color scheme I yeah. love this color scheme and and the face sculpt. It's really good. They did a really good job on that face sculpt. It's like nice and soft, but also like very pronounced in the eyes. Maybe yeah. Because sometimes I'll say, it, but sometimes female legends come out like kind of masculine, and this one's more feminine. Like sometimes, so look at the the Emma Frost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's got a yeah. She got a wide old jaw. She got a wide jaw. <laughs> yeah, so I I, I love this clear figure. Yeah, no, I think they did a good job on the makeup around the eyes, the mascara, or the eyeliner. I mean, yeah, yeah, Clea. And then next up, we're getting the Fist Ninja, and this thing looks sick. I'm, I'm assuming it's like some variation of the hand, right? A hand ninja, it's the fist. Exactly, it's the exact same except for the skull, but the skull makes it worth it, baby. That skull is phenomenal. Yeah, that skull's sick, dude. <laughs> and hopefully, that jaw's articulated. You think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. No. I, I, it could go either way. It could go either way. <laughs> All right, uh, and then we're also getting that Luke Cage Power Man that they announced a while back. Um, I was assuming that he was going to be a big bolt here, but he's just not, you know, not this huge, huge guy. But Power Man, we kind of talked about him before. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that Power Man. Good release. Yeah, yeah. So I think the last one that we got was a Toy Biz one, right? Or no? Uh, no, the last one we got was in the four pack Defender four pack, but it was an exclusive, so a lot of people didn't get it. All right. All right, and then next up, we're getting Lady Bull's uh, Katana, dude, from Mortal Kombat out here. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is true, yeah. Yeah, she comes with those blade fans, sword, just kind of a base female you know, body. The face skip looks good. I really hope that, like, the detailing on that bullseye comes out just the print, like, yeah. Print comes out good. Um, but cool to get a new, like, uh, head hair in, too, as well, for a female. Yeah, the only thing that kind of sucks with this, and it's unavoidable, it's just like that that line is only gonna look clean in vanilla pose. Like as soon as you move that torso, it's gonna be like off center, you know, really bad. Top right picture. You just hide it. Well that's cause yeah, that's because they're foreshortening it. You can't see it. <laughs> yeah, they're just hiding it back there. But yeah, no, that's it is uh, very yeah. That but there's nothing you could do about that, yeah. It goes across the whole abdomen, right? And chest, yeah, that's hard. All right, and then she's also the small one, she also gets the big parts of the build a figure. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then next up, interesting here. Usually an Iron Man would take this place uh, of no bath. 
but Daredevil is going to get the no bath uh, packaging. And this Daredevil looks sick, dude. I love the beard. I love like the ninja baggy pants. Yeah, the baggy pants do it. Yeah. Um, the black and white, it's okay. I love my Daredevils all red. Well, and I just like getting different variations of characters that I have because like I don't want another classic red daredevil i don't right. want another classic orange and yellow iron man so just to get an, a new daredevil even though it's still daredevil i can still enjoy it it's just like a new version i can get that's true that's true and he, he does look good don't get me wrong he does look good I yeah maddie him. can carry you no know, bath he can carry it all right then that i uh, collect all those wait actually we should have oh i forgot to put that in uh i'll throw it in after but the game reverse iron man so the game reverse is still continue it's the midnight suns version of uh iron man so it's like a black and gold he also does carry a piece so it, you get the marvel knights plus one they're throwing in one game reverse instead of doing a whole way of game reverse <laughs> from the like from the avengers game uh no from the midnight suns game oh for the midnight suns game i was like i'm still waiting on my avengers 2 wave but okay whatever that's, that's, <laughs> that's what i'm saying like they moved on to the next game Glad I, need my, I need my Avengers 2 to complete the team. Come on. <laughs> Never going to happen, dude. Uh, but I am glad that the Game Reverse line is continuing with another game. So that's cool. Cool, but it, cool, it cool yeah. Iron yeah, and the, the, the holy good thought, the Midnight Sun Wolverine. I really like that one. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. cool. All right, but you get collect all those. That gives you the mindless one. This big old turd of a thing. I, I, I dig it, dude. I know it's not a lot here going on. I just that effect piece is an ethereal and he's just a big old hunk of black blast. Yeah, I love this guy, and I think he would look he's gonna post so well, I think, with um the molten man build a figure. Oh from yeah from the home the, the Spider-Man wave. Because yeah. they kind of like would go together because they're kind of like lava guys, you know, because it kind of yeah. looks like lava rock here. Right, like this is the hardened version of the lava, the lava yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I do love this bath, and I like that, you know, it's big, it's a true bath, it's not like a figure. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It is a big old hunk of junk. Dude. And it's all new. Like, that's all of it is all new sculpt. Never before. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, there we go with the mindless one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's keep going. Let's jump over to a animated series two pack. It's we are getting Peter Parker and Smythe for 53 bucks. Personally, that Smythe is cool. Uh, don't get me wrong it's cool but i like my smite in the wheelchair and like helping kingpin i don't know that like evolved smite is cool but yeah. i prefer the regular smite <laughs> i see what you're saying yeah but like i think for a two-pack they just couldn't yeah. you because the wheelchair would make the cost like 75 bucks but i love this my and getting a peter parker at oh like man this, peter sick. Parker, this is animated yeah. oh, sorry not classic but animated uh the animated series peter parker is so fun. just hear the guy's voice talking to me but yeah this is good no cell shading they have discontinued that i'm assuming <laughs> which sucks but makes no sense to ever win the line um but i will say i don't i like the alistair smith head sculpt but the peter parker head sculpt it kind of doesn't look too close it looks a little bit off from what the animated series head looked like i think the it's jaw is a little bit narrow the, yeah. the facial features are softer like he's more chiseled in that show yeah, he's he's thick. He's he's a big boy. Um, I think they like maybe they veer too cartoonish because it is very cartoonish. That's it. It's That's very, it. You know, it's almost like a Barbie Ken. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's all yeah. right, but That's it good. is what it is. But yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. But yeah, Smythe is cool. Smythe is cool. I do dig him. And that version is a little more of a you know a villain for Peter to fight, of course. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Alex Smythe. And I've seen some customs of people building this thing. Dude, yeah, customs. You probably saw a custom by Matcha. He did like oh, yeah. just barely. He barely finished it, and I, I kind of like. I don't like. I don't know. I feel like that would kind of hurt. But yeah, he did a sick one. Like his was phenomenal. The custom by Macho Alice just might check that out. Yeah, no, that's yeah, and that's funny that as soon as he finished it, they announced. <laughs> literally, literally, I I was like, I'm gonna message him about it and say what's up. Man. <laughs> how, how do you feel about this? Yeah, how you feel? How you feel? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, here's everything you're getting. Uh, it is cool that we're getting hands, uh, whipping hands. In like normal skin tone or in white skin tone, right? That's kind yeah. of, I like that's that. new. Yeah, that's a good point. But it comes in that VHS packaging, of course, where they battle each other out. They're really filling this line out, man. They are, but honestly, I'm still mad that they removed the cell shading. It's, it's, it's disappointing. It's, yeah, it's disappointing. I kind of liked it. Uh, what do you think for a next two pack? What do you think? Next two pack? Because we 
Because like I'm kind of thinking more like Sinister Stick, like Sinister Six. Who we have? Who do we need to complete that game? Right, we've gotten Craven, we've got Octopus, Doc Ock from that show. Yeah, we've gotten Lizard. Kingpin, Lizard, yeah. What do you think? You go, you go. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Uh, we've gotten even Venom, too. So it's like, maybe I would see like a Madam Web and a Hydra Man kind of towards the end. I would like to see those just because we've never really gotten a Madam Web figure at all. So Madam Web would be sick. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I was thinking more like I want an animated version of Vulture and have his, his old head sculpt and his young head sculpt. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But because he's like more techie in that he's not it's like birdie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. We'll see. We'll see where they keep going. With that, of course. 